CAEM server installation in single server mode. In this module, we will learn how to install CAEM on a Linux and Windows server. Prerequisites and considerations. Verify that the computer that hosts the CAEM server meets the minimum operating system and system requirements. Verify that the following does not contain non-English letters in the names. Host name of the computer where you want to install the CAEM server. CAEM installation folders. The temporary folder path. Verify that you have installed Windows Installer 5.0 on the Windows platform. We recommend that you install CAEM on a dedicated server. When CAEM is used with AutoSys workload automation, all AutoSys workload automation and web UI servers must reference the same instance of CAEM. Also, all instances of web UI in a high availability group must reference the same instance of CAEM. For more information, refer to the CAEM documentation. In this section, we are going to learn how to install CAEM on a Linux server. Previously, we downloaded the software from the Broadcom site. To begin, we will log in as root to the Linux server where we will install CAEM. Next, we copy the software to the server. Let's verify the software has been copied successfully. Here we have the .iso file. We mount the DVD. and go to the DVD directory to view the files. Then execute the install.bin file and wait until the installer launches. The installation wizard appears. To proceed, press the enter key. If you wish to skip ahead to the end, enter zero. Enter Y to accept the terms of the license agreement. Enter option 1 to install the product. We type in the option 2 for custom install. Press Enter to install the Java bundle with the product. Type in option 6 to install CAEM. Press Enter. Press the Enter key to accept the default installation path. Press the Enter key to accept the default Share Components installation path. We are not going to install FIPS 142. Press Enter to accept the default, the No option. Now appears the CAEM administrator user IAM admin and the host name where we are going to install the local server EMPRI. Press enter to select the defaults. We need to enter a password the IAM admin administrative user will have. Enter the password and confirm the password. We keep the defaults for the directory owner and group. Press Enter. The system creates both if they do not exist. Keep the default DSA port 509 and the database size 256 megabytes. We leave the owner and group of the autosys files by default. Now appears the installation summary with all the options we chose to install. 
The component we are going to install is CA Embedded Entitlements Manager, CAEM. We press Enter to begin the installation and wait until it is completed. Once the installation is completed, we copy the URL to later log into the product and validate the installation. After this, we press Enter and the installation concludes. Now let's verify that it has been installed correctly. To verify the installation, open the web browser and use the provided address at the end of the installation. To log in, use the username I am admin and the password that was entered during the installation process. Click on Login. We have logged into the product and confirmed that it has been installed successfully. We have completed the installation process of EM on a Linux server. Now, we will learn how to install CAEM on a Windows server. Previously, we downloaded the software from the Broadcom site. As the first step, we need to log into the Windows server using the admin user. Next, we mount the DVD software, or we copy the software to the server. Here we have the DVD. We open it and execute the install application as administrator. The installation wizard appears on the screen. We click on the next button. Accept the terms of the license agreement and select next. Select install the product option and click on next. Select custom installation mode and click on next. Select the Java bundle with the product. Click on next. We select only the CAEM option. Click on Next. Here is the installation path for Autozis and the shared components where CAEM will be installed. We keep the default settings for both. We won't select the FIPS 142 for this basic installation. Here we have the CAEM administrator, I'm admin, and the server's name where we are going to install, EMPRIW. We need to enter the password the IAM admin administrator user will have. We maintain the default port 509. This port is intended for internal use by CAEM and the CAEM database size 256 megabytes by default. This is the installation summary. Then click install and wait until the process is complete. The installation process has been completed. To log into CAEM, we need to copy the URL provided. Click on done. We have finished the installation. Now we are going to test it. To confirm that the installation is successful, we open a web browser and enter the URL we received at the end of the installation process. Then enter the IAM admin as the user and the password selected during the installation process. Click on the login button. We are now logged into CAEM. We have checked the installation completed successfully. We have completed the installation of CAEM on a Windows server. In this module, you learned how to install CAEM on a Linux server and install CAEM on a Microsoft Windows server.